Well, here at WJZ, we like to highlight those everyday heroes. And Tori Smith introduces us to the Ryan Institute, whose mission is to help individuals achieve their educational and career goals. Tell me about the Ryan Group. The Ryan Institute is a full-service educational support company based in Baltimore, Maryland. We prepare scholars for global competition through character education and the arts in order to stabilize communities. My husband and I started our company when I was a classroom teacher because we saw the gaps that needed to be filled outside of the academic needs of our students. Um, they just needed so much more um, in terms of mentorship and guidance and life skills that you just can't fulfill when you're um, inside of the red tape of the school district. And when you talk about your programming, what is your biggest takeaway? So essentially, we want our kids to live their dreams. We want them to dream big. Whatever it is they're passionate about, we want to help them get to that. If it's a career path, we want to help them get to that. If it's college, we want to help them get to that. For us, the village is everything. So you graduated from Morgan State and decided yeah. to join the Ryan Institute. Why? Kids and music are my passion. When I went into teaching, I felt absolutely prepared, and that was all from the Ryan Institute. My son is in the program, Gavin, and we've all, always had programming, but not programming like this. This is a very unique model. It's about bridging the gaps. So to have this program, it was like a godsend. It was like they came through, they gave an opportunity not only to do in-person, but also hybrid to keep enrichment going and to keep my son engaged without completely losing him academically over the summer. And what does the future look like for you and your organization? We need to pour the resources into the front lines. These people that sit in cubicles making decisions for children and families that have not even worked with our children. They don't know our families. They don't know our children. They don't know the traumas that they have experienced. And we want it to the people and the grassroots organizations that are doing the work, that have been doing the work uh, for free and working in the red. That's where the resources need to go. Well, listen, we know there are more community MVPs out there, so we need you to point them out. So go to WJZ.com, nominate someone who's doing good work like this in your community, a community MVP. Absolutely.